Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to our NIEBS Home School. My dear students, hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am Shanti Darhman, Assistant Teacher of National Ideal English Version School, Day Sheet. Today I am going to take a science class for the student of class 2. And our today's class topic is Chapter 11, Exercise plus Short Note plus Word Meaning, Question Answer. Term half yearly 2021 lecture number 16 homework number 13 and our today's uh, homework is short note here my name Shanti Darhman and this is my contact number if you feel any problem or if you have any query you can contact with me in our previous class uh, the class which taken before our Eid vacation we read out chapter 11 and the chapter name is the need for air chapter 11 in our today's class we will do exercise from this chapter now let's start our class our today's chapter name is the need for air in this chapter there are some exercise exercise uh, take the correct answer true false matching and fill in the blanks we will do at first we will do the exercise Number A, tick the correct answer. 1. A gentle wind is called gale, breeze, storm. In our previous class, when we read out this chapter, we know that a gentle wind is called breeze. Here, we put the tick mark on the breeze. Number 2, we can fly dash with the help of air. In the bracket, we, there are three options, kite, bar, ribbon. Which one is the correct answer? We can fly a kite with the help of air. So, we put the tick mark on kite. Number three, which instrument needs air to be blown in it? In the bracket, there are three options, guitar, drum, flute. The instrument fluid needs air to blow in it. So we put the tick mark on fluid. Number four, smoke causes. The bracket, there are three options, rain, cycle, cyclone and pollution. We know that smoke creates pollution. So smoke causes pollution. Put the tick mark on the pollution. Number B, exercise. Write true, T for true and A for false. There are five sentences. You will read out these five sentences and you decide which one is the true and which one is the false. In uh, the sentence which is true, you write T and the sentence which is false, you write A. So we read out this sentence. We enjoy breeze because it makes us feel cool. True. So we write here T. Number two germs are helpful no we know that germs are not helpful for ourselves so the answer is false we write here f number three without water vapor we would have no rain the answer is true yes without water vapor we would have no rain number four we need fresh and clean air to breathe answer is Two, we need fresh and clean air. Number five, air does not give shape to things. Answer, false. Air gives shape to the things. So, we write here if. Our C number exercise match the following. In this exercise, there are two tables. Table number, column number A and column number B. Here are uh, some uh, things name and there are some activities. So we match these two tables. Column number A and column number B. Number one, windmill. Windmill, it's grains. So we match it here. Grains. Trumpet. Trumpet need air. Yeah. So we match with the A. Water vapor. Water vapor creates 
red so we match with b number 4 polluted air polluted air causes different kinds of diseases to us so we match it with a make us sick yes polluted air make us sick number 5 factory factory generally factory uh, in the factory we found smoke created from the factory and uh, smoke comes out from the factory so here is the smoke we match the smoke with number 5 number 6 wind number 6 wind wind is a moving air so we match it with e now again i repeat this windmill grains trumpet needs air water vapor rain polluted air make us sick factory smoke wind moving air and exercise number d fill in the blanks there are six sentences and there uh, in every sentence there is a blank space you have to fill up this number 1 dash is also needed for burning we know that air is needed for burning a i r a i r air is also needed for burning number 2 dash keeps the air fresh and clean dash keeps the air fresh and clean we know that plants gives us oxygen and it take up, takes carbon dioxide from the environment so plants keep the air fresh and clean number 3 air is also used to generate electricity yes air is used to produce electricity so air is also used to generate electricity e l e c t r i c i t y electricity e l e c t r i c i t y electricity number 4 a dash can be harmful as it destroys life and property we know that strom s t o r m strom a strom can be harmful as it destroys life and property number 5 air contains very tiny living organisms called germs so air contains very tiny living organism called germs number 6 air is a mixture of different gases we know that in air there is oxygen carbon dioxide nitrogen and methane gas so air is a mixture of different gases my dear students my exercise is complete and in this chapter there is a short note at first we read this short note our short note name is air all living things need air air is all around us it is a mixture of different gases we cannot see or touch air we can only feel it air fills up empty spaces it has weight moving air is called wind air pollution occurs when air becomes dirty we need fresh and clean air to breathe so we should grow more plants to keep air fresh and clean again i repeat this short note our today's short note topic is air all living things need air air is all around us it is a mixture of different gases we cannot see or touch air we can only feel it air fills up empty spaces it has weight moving air is called wind air pollution occurs when air becomes dirty we need fresh and clean air to breathe so we should grow more plants to keep air fresh and clean now my dear students we uh, do exercise and short note and to now we will do word meaning one word answer and question answer from chapter 11 word meaning the first word meaning particles p a r t i 
C L E S particles T A R T I C L E S particles means a very small part of matter particles means a very small part of matter number 2 bricks b r double e z e bricks b r double e z e bricks a gentle wind wind that come or go in a casual manner bricks means a gentle wind that come or go in a casual manner number 3 in fact i n f e c t in fact i n f e c t in fact in fact means to pass a disease to a person animal or plant in fact means to pass a disease to a person animal or plant now we will discuss one word answer there are two question number 1 how many type of wind are there we know that there are only two wind answer two how many type of wind are there answer two number question number two which gas helps for burning answer oxygen <coughs> number two which gas helps for burning answer is oxygen o x y g e n oxygen o x y g e n oxygen now we will read question answer Question answer one: What is air? What are the properties of air? Answer: Air is a mixture of different gases. Air has the following properties. Number one: We cannot see air, but we can feel it when it moves. Yes, we can feel it. Number two: Air fills up empty spaces. Number three: Air has weight. Number four. Air gives shape to the things such as <coughs> footballs, balloons, and tires. So, in this question, we know that what is air? Air is a mixture of different gases, and uh, we know that what is the properties of air? Air has cannot. Air fills up empty spaces. Air has weight. We cannot see air, but we can feel the air. Uh, when it moves, air gives shape to things such as football, balloons, and tires. So here is the question answer. After reading this question answer, we know that what is air and what is the properties of air. And our homework for the next class is homework number thirteen. Short note: air. Short note: air is the homework for our next class. my dear students hope i hope you understand today's class you will practice this question answer short note and exercise at your home and uh, prepare yourself for the half yearly examination and submit your assignment on the uh, fixed date till then keep well assalamu alaikum